Hello, my name is Kishwani. S K E S H W A N I Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for T's. We have been solving T's math problems out of this book here, the T's Study Guide, version seven, two thousand and twenty-five. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Always make sure that this book is in front of you when we are working together. Today is our lesson number seven. We are on page number 98. On page 98, we did the two problems on the top yesterday that you see there, example number seven, example number eight and nine. Today we'll, we'll do the practice problems. There are five of them. We're going to do only problem number one today out of five, because problem number five has several parts to it, A, B, C, D, so on and so forth. Let's look at the very first one. Number one, A. We have six plus eight times 12 minus nine. Six plus eight times 12 minus nine. Well, what do we do first here? Well, we do exactly what we're told here. This is the order of operation. We learned it. We learned it uh, more than once by now. This is the order of operation. Parentheses, exponents, multiplication. Let's write them here. We do parentheses first, then the exponent, then multiplication, then the division. Well, that's actually not true. Multiplication and division, multiplication and division have the same priority. We do whichever appears first, moving from left to right. Moving from, moving from left to right, whichever comes first, that's the one we do first. And similarly, then we have addition and subtraction addition and subtraction also have the same priority whichever appears first moving from left to right that's the one we do first if subtraction happens to appear first in the problem we do the subtraction first if the addition appears first we do addition first same thing with multiplication and division they have the same priority let's see what we have here well we have a parenthesis here before we do anything at all parenthesis is the very first one we need to take care of this guy first so we have six plus eight times 12 minus 9 is 3, 3. So that part is done. Now we have addition and multiplication. We have to do the multiplication first because multiplication appears before addition does. So 8 times 3 is 24. So we get 6 plus 24. And now we do the addition. We answer get, we get the answer of 30. Let's do the next one, shall we? Part B. B says... 14 minus 5 divided by 7 minus 4. Now this guy has two parentheses. It has two parentheses uh, and they have obviously we do that first. 14 minus 4, 14 minus 4 is going to be 9 so that part is done divided by and then we can do both of them in one step. This part is already done. We can do this parenthesis next. 7 minus 4 is 3. That's what it is. A very simple problem. And then we do the division. 9 minus 3 is 3. Nothing to it. Very straightforward, simple thing. Let's do next one. Part C. Seven times four plus eight divided by four minus. 3 times 6 is something like this is where you have to slow down. It's something like this is where you need to slow down. Part C because there is a lot going on here. And it only takes a one careless uh, error to arrive at the wrong conclusion, wrong answers. Part C. I just want to make sure that I copied it correctly. 7 times 4 plus 8 divided by 4 minus 3 times 6. Okay, very good. Enough of that. Let's see what we have. So we have multiplication, we have addition, we have division, we have subtraction, we have multiplication. What do we do? Well, we go in the order. There are no parentheses, so we don't have to worry about it. There are no exponents in this thing, we don't worry about it. We do have multiplication and division. And again, because they have the same priority, multiplication and division have the same priority, so we move from left to right. We're simply going to move to left to right and do whichever appears first. So there is a multiplication right there. We have to do that one first. Seven, seven times four is 28. And we rewrite everything. Don't try to do. Don't try to do two, three steps together because that's how you get burned. So that part is done. Now we have 28 plus 8. Do we do the addition first? No, we have addition, we have division, we have 
subtraction and multiplication. So here, after we have done the first step, it just so happens, it just so happens that the division, it just so happens that the division is appearing before multiplication. Even though multiplication is written on top of that, but they have the same priority as I keep repeating like a parrot, they have the same priority. We move from left to right, moving from left to right, which one appears first? As we move from left to right, the division appears first, we do that one first. 8 divided by 4 is 2, so we rewrite 28, and this part becomes 2, minus 3 times 6. Okay, that's it, don't try to be clever, just, just, just do one step at a time. Now we have multiplication, oh sorry, we have addition, we have subtraction and multiplication. Multiplication is going to be done first before we worry about addition and subtraction. So it's the last part we have to do there, and I left no room, so I need to erase this thing here. So now we do this part. So again, rewrite everything, make sure you line up everything. Minus 3 times 6 is 18. And now we do just to addition and subtraction. Again, moving from left to right, moving from left to right, this addition appears first. So we do that one first. 28 plus 3 is 28 plus 2 is 30. So it's 30 minus 18 is what we arrive at. And therefore the final answer is 12. If you go in order, if you don't jump around, if you go in order, rewrite everything, lining everything up properly like I did, you'll be fine. It takes time, but it's better to be accurate than to have a speed with no, with no, no accuracy. That's the trade-off in the exam. Number C. Let's look at D. In D we have 50 minus 2 times 7 over 6 plus 4 times 3. How do we handle this thing? How do we handle something like this? Listen carefully, okay? So when you have a something written in when you have a something written in the form of a fraction, that's what it is. We have something on the top, a whole bunch of things on the top, a whole bunch of things at the bottom, but it's a fraction. We have something on the top, something on the bottom, that's a fraction. When something is written in the form of fraction, this problem, this problem that you see here, this problem is same as the one I'm going to write at the bottom here. It's, this problem is same as 50 minus 2 times 7 with the parentheses around it and then this fraction sign means division and then this is the bottom part so we open another parenthesis and write down everything that appears at the bottom. Whether something like this appears in the exam or something like this appears in the exam they are one and the same question. They are one and the same quantity. At the end, whatever answer we're going to get here is exactly what we should get here. Because it's the exact same thing written in two different ways. What I'm trying to tell you in a very, very roundabout way is that when something like this appears, we have to take care of the bottom, we have to take care of the top first by itself, and then we have to take care of the bottom by itself, by itself, because that's what parenthesis means, before we worry about dividing one by the other. So let's take care of the top first. But don't do it, try to do it here, write it loud like this, so it's easy. So, at, at this point, nothing exists. This part does not exist. We are only looking at the top. Let's concentrate on this part. We have subtraction and addition. We have subtraction and multiplication. We have subtraction and multiplication. Which one do we do first? For obvious the multiplication. Because subtraction appears at the very bottom. So let's do multiplication. So that means 50 minus 14. 50 minus 10 would have been 40, therefore 50 minus 14 would be 36. There you go. Which means this entire thing on the top that you see there, which means this entire thing that you see on the top now, we know this entire thing on the top equals 36. That part is done. Now we concentrate on the bottom part. Do it separately. Now we concentrate on the bottom part. 6 plus 4 times 3. Again, we have a multiplication, we have an addition and we have a multiplication. We're going to do multiplication first. So we have 6 plus, we do multiplication first, we get 12. 6 plus 12 is 18, which means the bottom is 18. There we go. And that's it, we're done. 18 times 2 is 36. 18 times 2 is 36, divide top and bottom by 18, and we get a 2. That's all, the answer is 2 here. 
that was the end of the show today. Tomorrow we'll meet and we'll do the remaining four problems that you see there on the on the on the page, page number 98, problem number two, three, four, and five. I wanted to take care of the problem number one by itself because as you can see it has four parts to it and it's like doing four problems. It wasn't just one problem. We'll meet again tomorrow, okay? Bye now.